Hi, welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so via the thumbnail in the bottom right corner. The focus of this video is once again my hydraulic system made of fish technique. And there is this uh, manually operated part and the uh, upper automatic or automated part uh, which is connected uh, to uh, my laptop with power and a motor with a screw pump that drives um, this piston and in response this piston. Connected also to this rubber band driven by this motor. Anyway, last time um, I tried to get things running which uh, was not quite satisfactory since there was a lot of air and still is a lot of air in the system. So the question is how to solve the air problem. Before solving the air problem let's inventorize or make an inventory what happens with air in the system. First the automated part. Um, driven piston and responding piston. Now here is a light that has to be blocked by the piston. Um, because of the air inside the system it doesn't rise enough to block the light. Air has the uh, for hydraulics um, not quite nice effect that it bounces. Uh, it compresses and water does not compress. So um, once there is air in the system and there is some resistance of the piston axle then uh, it doesn't rise high enough. Same can be said for this part. Um, although it doesn't block anything. Um, this is what happens as you can clearly see here as well. Um, this is all filled with air. Um, so there is nothing I can do about it. Well I can of course fill it with water again. Where does it go by the way? Um, but that's the response. Then here because of air in the system this part which is supposed to go to the uh, against the, um, the sensor doesn't work either. So there are three systems one, two and three that um, gets air inside and loses water. And since everything is dry here but also at the storage point why I usually put the whole system when I'm not uh, using it for this demonstration. It's all dry. So it evaporates. Um, given the, uh, the air drops uh, or the water drops, yeah it does evaporate. Not so nice. But what can I do? Can I do anything about it? That's no other question. But first let me take this part, the automated part, and see if I can rid of too much air. And I was fully ready to um, test it and get the air out of the system. But this piston is very low and so is that one. So um, I have to refill it first, which means that I have to decouple this one, fully press this low in order to get everything out and still it bounces. So that's not a good sign. And then when I look here, this is the amount of air and then a little bit water. So once again the question, where has the water gone? Vaporized. Up in damp. Anyway, um, 
you've seen how I uh, refill it in the previous uh, videos so I first have to uh, refill and get rid of or fill the water that is in here anyway let's see how that uh, ends up and I'll do that off camera for now alright so now I have totally filled it with water and when I took the hose off here um, not one single drop of water came out of it so that means there's only air in it which I can't get out of course so given the height of this one I have to press it down and now you can see that I have here some kind of collision uh, but it works out quite nicely if I see so so connecting the parts um, this remains a weak point however I'm going to start and see whatever happens how does it turn out to be and then of course it is very nice to see if the light has any effect and yes it has full effect now and that is exactly what is supposed to happen light is locked rubber band stops and by the way this is the cut off uh, a cup with demineralized water and the filling water hose so this is exactly what is supposed to happen like I said how about the rest um, let's take that one out and for the first part the left part of the manually operated part I find that I have made it myself quite well not as easy as I could have done it this one is uh, connected in a way that I can't easily take it off um, so I have to do it with this way but this um, is uh, well kind of obstructing so let me take this one off then I'll have to take this one aside which is possible uh, but first I have to press in this one completely in which also affects of course that part so and this one is bouncing why is it bouncing because of the amount of air because if I do this I see here some uh, change in water level so I can't even get the air completely out of here which is not nice anyway I have to refill this and somehow press the air after disconnecting this one so air comes out of here after disconnecting and I'll do that once again off camera refill is done but contrary to this system um, there did come some water out of the system after disconnecting and when I uh, pumped this one uh, two or three times still water came out of it so maybe due to the longer hose I'm not quite sure uh, that one is still blocked but now it's completely filled so let's see oh by the way another thing is that for some reason um, I could not get all the air out of uh, this piston uh, when refilling so um, there will be some air again and it will undoubtedly have consequences for the whole operation but let's do it anyway 
that is quite far but not far enough and you see the response here which is not as I envisioned it and yes there is a large amount of air in here actually two large bubbles so there is a big a large amount of air yeah which also prevents this to fully go out although it is kind of fully out to my surprise yeah it doesn't get any further so pulling back and pushing oh yeah now look at this it doesn't get fully out because now I can pull it further okay um, it also has consequences for this one so here is a big amount of air I'll turn it around a bit can you see it? not quite I have to switch the camera over so right here this is air so that keeps it from going entirely up anyway um, an operation for three parts of hydraulics that um, it was entirely focused on getting the air out of the system this one uh, succeeded this one didn't succeed and uh, this one I haven't done yet but it is a problem it is a big problem oops can I do it? I don't think so and here you can see the amount of air between the piston and um, the level of the water so this prevents um, this sensor to be touched by this part um, not quite promising as I revealed everything uh, one episode or two episodes ago but um, not quite sure what I have to what I can do anything other than keep refilling it ouch and with these uh, attempts to refill and get the system um, working properly again uh, thank you for watching if you like this video please subscribe to my channel uh, via the thumbnail on the bottom right corner please leave a comment or suggestion under the video much appreciated you can also follow me via twitter and instagram and you can support um, via either being a patron or uh, donating via IBAN or PayPal for which you don't need an account for more information see under the video or in the uh, next short frame um, this is going to be continued have a nice day stay safe bye